Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers for Thursday, March 7 show that Carly Spencer joined Drew Kane at the Quartermain House, where he was in over his head attempting to deal with Rocco Falconeri and Danny Morgan. The boys had a disagreement over Danny's video game system, but Danny acknowledged it was actually about Rocco wanting his father to be okay. Dante Falconeri was still in surgery, but Sam received a call from Drew and dispatched Laura Collins to assist him. Laura had a nice talk with Rocco, during which she admitted to being an expert on Super Mario Brothers. Laura was honest about Dante's fight, but she encouraged Rocco to keep hope alive and planned to play video games with him once he recovered. Carly also spoke with Danny and agreed that he was similar to Jason Morgan in that he felt strongly but held back from expressing those sentiments in order to protect himself and others. Rocco declined the opportunity to spend the night at Laura's house because he wanted to be present in case Scout Kane had a bad dream. Danny and Rocco ended up leaning against each other on the sofa, quietly supporting each other. Brooke Lynn Quartermain was concerned about what might happen to Harrison Chase after witnessing Dante's tragedy. Jordan Ashford stated that her marriage to Curtis Ashford ended in part because she compartmentalized her career, therefore she encouraged Brooke Lynn to connect with Chase and be honest. Chase spoke with Brooke Lynn alone and gave her an escape because she did not sign up for the cop life as he had. Brooke Lynn revealed to Chase that she was afraid, but she also made it apparent that she was dedicated to him and loved him enough to express her fear of losing him. After Brooke Lynn warned Chase not to urge her to go, he agreed not to and hugged her. Portia finally provided excellent news to Sam and Olivia Quartermain, as Dante had survived the procedure. Dante was in severe condition and had been admitted to the intensive care unit, but Portia remained optimistic about his first steps toward recovery. In the chapel, Sonny Corinthos suspected that the tape had been edited and struggled to believe it was Jason in the shot. Alva Jerome insisted. Damien Spinelli confirmed it, prompting Sonny to consider the idea that Jason had survived and turned against him. Sonny thought Alva didn't know Jason as well as he did, and he couldn't believe Jason would do this. Ava finally consented to accept Sonny's judgment, but he revealed that he did not fully trust Jason. After Ava advised Sonny to be cautious, he appeared shocked that she cared about him. Ava acknowledged that she would always care about Avery Corinthos' father, but something more appeared to be going on between them. Sonny appeared tickled by the prospect of only being able to trust Ava right now and drew in close for a spark-filled moment. Maxie Jones gasped when Spinelli showed her Jason in the CCTV tape. John Jagger Cates arrived with a search warrant, but Spinelli suddenly had no film to share and display the black screen. Agent Cates suspected Spinelli had activated a kill switch and arrested him together with Maxie for obstruction of justice. When they were in handcuffs, Maxie said that Max Scorpio, John J. York, was her stepfather and attempted to get them off the hook. That plot failed, and Maxie revealed that Spinelli needed to safeguard a close friend. Since John was determined to put Maxie and Spinelli in jail, Spinelli revealed the backup film and how to get it. Maxie thought it was charming when Spinelli revealed that the password was Maxinista. Spinelli promised Maxie that he couldn't let the lady he loves end up in jail after John got the tape and had released them from their restraints. Maxie dropped a big kiss on Spinelli to express her love and gratitude. Elsewhere, John saw a picture of Jason from the footage and was resolved to pursue him. According to General Hospital spoilers, Jason has a bullseye on his back at this point, so stay tuned for updates on how he plans to get out of this problem. Make CDL your go-to source for fascinating General Hospital spoilers, updates, and news. According to General Hospital teasers on Friday, March 8, Sam McCall will spread the good news after Dante Falconeri's successful surgery. Dante is still in critical condition in the ICU, 
but the fact that he survived the procedure is a positive first step toward his recovery. Next, John Jagger Cates will update Anna Devane on the footage he confiscated from Damien Spinelli, so she will be surprised by Jason Morgan's apparent survival. Anna is aware of Jason's history of loyalty to Sonny Corinthos, so she may suspect that something is up here. Nonetheless, Anna will have to follow the facts and investigate where the suspect may be hiding. Anna will speak with John about who Jason might contact if he needed assistance. Anna appears to be suggesting that Jason may have turned up at Carly Spencer's, Laura Wright, door after the mission failed. It won't be long until John and Anna pay a visit to Carly, who discovers a suspect in the attempted murder of Sonny. Carly will have questions, but John may suspect she is lying and confront her about where she is concealing Jason. However, no one will be more surprised than Carly to learn that Jason is alive and involved in all of the deadly sunny turmoil. Carly's reaction to the Jason updates may persuade Anna and John that this is the first she's heard about her BFS comeback. Of course, we know Jason is hurt and in need of medical attention. There have also been rumors that a face from Elizabeth Baldwin's, Rebecca Herbst, past is chasing her down for assistance, so will she end up hiding injured Jason after patching him up? In the chapel, it appears that Nina Corinthos may come along and disturb Sonny's intimate moment with Eva Jerome. After Sonny leaves, Nina will quiz Ava and feel as if she is holding back. It will become clear that Ava knows more than she is admitting, so Nina will press her to come clean. Will Ava keep Jason's unusual reappearance a secret from Mena or reveal it to Sonny? Sonny will hear more about John's inquiry and discuss the Jason upheaval with Diane Miller. Sonny isn't sure what happened right now, but he'll want to find out who did it and deal with the matter. Whatever happens, Sonny is determined to handle it. On Friday's GH episode, Diane will chat with Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gran, giving Alexis the opportunity to scream about what it's like now that Nina is at the Invader. Over with Dex Heller and Jocelyn Jacks, they'll chat to Michael Corinthos and Willow Corinthos about Dance Ordeal and what they discovered about the shooter. Dex will be hesitant to stay in Port Charles and face Sonny's fury, but Michael will persuade him to stay and provide Sonny with backup. Even if Sonny does not want it, Michael will believe he knows best in this case. General Hospital spoilers indicate that Jocelyn will make another plea to Dante and hope for the best, so stay tuned. CDL is the place to go for hot General Hospital spoilers, updates and news, so make us your preferred GH destination. According to the latest General Hospital spoilers, Carly Spencer will be shocked when Jason Morgan sneaks into her home on Friday, March 8th. Jason will call Carly's name just before she heads upstairs, alerting her to his presence. Carly will struggle to trust what she sees in front of her, but Jason will convince her that it is him. That is all it will take for Carly to come up to Jason and embrace him in a strong hug. Of course, BA viewers are aware that Jason has an injury that requires medical attention, so he may wince in agony slightly. It won't be long until Carly notices the blood and thinks Jason needs medical assistance. Carly will mention having a first aid kit, but traveling into the other room to obtain it will be difficult for her. Carly will not want Jason out of her sight now that he is back in her arms. However, Jason will vow that their reconnection is genuine and that he will still be present when Carly arrives. Carly will ultimately retrieve the medical supplies she has on hand, but she will find she is not prepared to treat a gunshot wound. When Carly wishes she could call Bobby Spencer, Jason warns her not to get her mother on the phone. When Carly breaks the news that Bobby has died, Jason becomes distraught because he was not with Carly at the time. Jason will realize he has missed a lot during his absence, but Carly will not have time to share stories with him before the cops arrive. Anna Devane will receive updates on Jason's appearance on the surveillance tape, and she will immediately believe Jason sought Carly's help. Once Anna has informed John Cates of her suspicions, they will go to Carly's house together. Carly will open the door for Agent Cates and Anna, but she will deny Jason's survival and that this is his new refuge. 
Anna refuses to believe it and insists that Jason is present. When Carly learns that Jason is accused of pursuing Sonny Corinthos and shooting Dante Falconery, she will be completely shocked. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.